Hello Cancer, thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to be doing a pretty quick general reading for you, something that you don't expect, but it would benefit you to expect it. Okay, so we can be general. If you want a personal reading, you can find the info for that in the description. Cancer, what's going on for Cancer that they don't expect, but their awareness of it will benefit them. What are we talking about today for Cancer? Three of Cups, uh, Ace of Pentacles, okay. Um, okay, celebration over something new, a new manifestation. Um, you might be taking your friends out somewhere or you're paying for something because you received some money or someone's doing this for you. Um, but people are around you could be celebrating some achievement that you made. Okay, you should be more. Three of Wands. Wow, two threes. Okay, so what I'm feeling is that there's a new beginning that's coming in for you that's creating a lot of change. It's like a catalyst for a new, um, how I want to say it is a new reality. Yeah, wow, look at the white card. Possibilities are endless here. Um, okay, so what I'm, what, the way I want to say this is something is like picking up speed for you. Something, some seed that you planted is showing some proof of manifesting or growth. Could physically be a seed. Um, but either way, like with the white card at the end, this is indicating that things can go in many different ways for you. Um, the possibilities are kind of open, but the divine is involved in the situation, okay? Three of Wands is seeing the potential of your future. So what I'm getting from this is that there's something that you're not expecting, like you're not expecting to experience something very big or something that's going to change your life because it's a small seed that you planted, okay? And it might have not come to fruition yet. You might not see any proof of it growing at this time, but there's going to be celebrating in the future here. And now like, like with the three of wands and the white card, the way, the way I see these two cards together, it makes me want to say like, again, the possibilities are endless. Three of wands is about seeing the potential of your future, um, and taking action on that future. The white card literally means that it's open. You might be physically like growing something like in your garden right now too. There's like a message about that or it's like beneficial for you, whatever you're growing. Okay, that's obviously not for everyone. All right, let's get some more specific details with this deck. planning a wedding. Uh, an event of some kind. Okay. Um, all right, more details please for cancer. More details about this for cancer. Wow, the star. Yeah, you're being celebrated and recognized for something that you're doing. This could be celebration with you, like your spirit guides and stuff, but I'm also feeling like there's an outward celebration for you. You could be planning something like in regards to your birthday or something like that, or someone's planning something for you. That's also not for everyone. Lots of positive recognition is what I'm feeling from this, okay? Show me more. You could do something in the public eye. You could um, have some type of fame. 
or you're going to. Something that you started, a seed that you planted. King of Wands, exactly. You took action on something. You took, you took passionate action on something or action on something that you're passionate about. Okay, so it's like you had this vision of how something could go or how well something could go. And you took action on that. Okay. All right, show me more. Um, there also could be something about a King of Wands, of course. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, masculine energy. And we also have Aquarius here. Ooh. Six of Cups. Okay. So w the way I want to say with this card coming out, you're surrounded by your soul family, first of all. Um, this could be something that you've done in past lives, or this is something repeating from past lives. This could be something that your family does, or it's like even like um, something that runs in your family that you're doing. Okay, it could be having to do with energy work. Um, this also could be something that you wanted to do in childhood, something that you imagined doing in childhood, or something you knew you were going to do when you were a kid or something like that. Like, you just knew you were going to end up... Like, like how, how I want to say this is, like, you knew you were going to end up with some type of fame and attention for something. It's something to the public, though. Like, even this with, like like all the peacock feathers in it. It's like something that's very like public and like in the public eye. Being flaunted in the public eye. Everyone can see this achievement that you've made or are creating. There's something that feels very good about it. What's falling on the ground here? Uh, Seven of Swords, okay. We'll see what comes up about that. Um, there could be something about family members wanting to get involved with what you're doing. Um, follow your intuition and discernment with that. You could work with like crows, ravens or something like that. Okay, show me more please. Four of Cups, wow, yeah, okay, so what I was saying yesterday, even with this card, it's like this Four of Cups makes me feel like somebody's like really grateful for what they do have in the current environment, but they're just imagining like what they want to bring into their reality, something they desire, like even though someone's happy with their circumstances, they're trying to bring something specific into their reality. And they have it in the back of their head. They're, they know what they want to manifest, okay? So they're, with this coming out after the white card, there's a little bit of a message of keeping your thoughts positive on, in regards to whatever you're creating here or taking action on. Um, keep them positive and expect the best. Because that's what's going to help manifest this um, situation in the best way possible. The white card is genuinely indicating that like you have control over how this turns out or how far this goes or how well this does. It does feel like it's destined to do very well, like it's part of your soul contract type thing um, with the Six of Cups here, but it, with the Four of Cups now, it's really making me want to say, like, keep your thoughts positive. Be grateful for what you do have in the environment and for what has manifested. Don't, there could be something happening where you're always looking towards the next achievement and you're not necessarily slowing down and, like, being happy for the achievement that you have. Like, if you think of what you have now, Think of how happy you'd be to have what you have now, like, from the past. Like, every achievement that you have, like, recognize when you didn't have that achievement and how it felt to want that achievement, and then be grateful for the achievement that you've made. That's what I want to say to you. Alright, what other messages do we have about this for Cancer? What other specific messages do we have about this for Cancer? Here we have the High Priestess. Yeah, follow your intuition. You intuitively know this is happening for you, too. It's like you kind of know the direction you're moving in. It's lacking physical evidence, not so much um, your intuition or 5D evidence. Five of Swords. Yeah, don't let um, manipulative thoughts come in. Um, but there could also, there's something that, a message that I'm wanting to share or um, highlight. is something about a family member 
trying to get involved or getting themselves involved, they could be imposing their opinions. It doesn't necessarily have to be a family member, but it's someone in your, in your soul family. It's someone that you're involved with and have been involved with, could be for a long time. And there's um, like their opinions or doubts are being like imposed onto you. Okay, so there could be a little bit of a warning or taking criticism from others about what you're doing. <coughs> There's definitely something with the throat chakra because oh, I forget which card it was. One of the cards that came out all of a sudden my throat started being all tickly. So there's something about speaking up about something or f like being scared to speak up, but I'm mostly feeling like there's someone that you might benefit from keeping your plans kind of, um, I want to say hidden from them or trying not to share your plans. And I say that all the time. Kind of just move on your own without having other people's opinions manifesting for you. Uh, but there's also something about doubts coming in in general. So th that's also an important reason why you need to appreciate every achievement you've made because there could be something where doubts are coming in. There could be something about imposter syndrome. Okay, what other, um, <laughs> I almost said what other notes do we have for cancer? What other messages do we have for cancer? Someone could be giving you a lot of notes or a lot of criticisms on what you do. Or you're giving yourself a lot of criticism on what you do. You're, you're too harsh with yourself. Okay. Show me more, please. More messages about this for cancer. You're intuitively right about where you're, like, destined to be is how I want to say it. Alright, more messages for cancer, please. More details for cancer. Knight of Wands. Wow. Yeah, look at that. The King of Wands and the Knight of Wands. So yeah, you're actually, you're actively taking action, like you're making moves happen with like determination and passion. There could be some type of um, manifestation coming in for you very quickly. Something could happen very quickly. Um, something could increase quickly. Money could increase quickly all of a sudden. A business flourishing all of a sudden. Um, keyword quickly though with the Knight of Wands. It's like once somebody decides the path they want to take, it's like all these things start happening in regards to that manifestation. There's something about someone working in the garden too. It's really beneficial for you. It's you could have like spirit guides or something that you connect with in a garden or something like that or you're planting something. And my throat is really tickly right now. <laughs> There's something with the throat chakra going on. Uh, the Hierophant. Yeah, committing to... Okay. Committing to the potential you saw or that you see for your future. Excuse me. Yeah, committing to it and sticking to it, like entrusting in the information that you already received is the information you already received. There could be something where you're trying to receive like constant confirmation on a manifestation or you're checking up on a manifestation a lot. But things are growing. Trust the potential you already saw. That's how I want to say this. Um, this is Taurus, by the way. Taurus energy. Someone's really committed to a practice or to a business, to their business. Okay. Someone could be working with family members, by the way. Somebody could want to incorporate family members in their business. There could be some type of reuniting of family members, okay. Got that, can relate to that.
and it's going to start something for the future. There's something that you guys will be doing together in the future. Okay. More messages, please, for Cancer. Reconnecting with a soul family. Ace of Swords. This new beginning. Really thinking of this new beginning. How you want your future to look next. I really want to stress to you with this white card coming out, and especially with the Ace of Swords now, it's like you have the potential to have exactly what you want in this situation and for it to manifest exactly how you want and exactly how you're envisioning it. So, like, decide what you want. That's why, like, speak the words of what you want. Like, put it out there. Put the information out there of what you want. Write it down. Say it out loud. Start talking with your guides. Start planning with yourself of how you want the future to look like. I really feel like you have a serious role in what your future is going to be looking like next. And I think that you're ready for that. Like, what I'm getting from this reading is this is a powerful thinker. This is a powerful manifester. This is a powerful being, even if there's doubts involved. Even if physical evidence hasn't manifested yet, it's it's there. The seed is has been planted. And you can expect to see some type of proof of that. Um, all of a sudden, though. There's something with the throat chakra that needs to be worked through, though. So do some throat chakra stuff. Maybe even root chakra stuff, but throat chakra stuff, definitely. Now my nose is all stuffy right now. Interesting. Okay, anything else for Cancer? Any other final messages for Cancer? Any other words that we're needing to share with Cancer? Say to Cancer. There could be some jealousy involved from others with what you're doing. It's like somebody's paying attention. The hanged man. Okay, so yeah, you've been patient for this. Um, but you are like literally envisioning what's... Ooh, sorry, my camera is like kind of backwards. So I'm not really seeing the way it's like... It's not really facing the right way. But either way, um, yeah, you've been patient for this. But also, this is also making me want to talk more about like visualization for you. And like meditating on what you want and physically taking a role in the manifestation process. Okay, you could be utilizing a lot of different manifestation techniques. But start utilizing that power that you know that you have. There's something you're... you're there's You could use your power even more so than you are. Pisces energy, by the way. Something will become clear to you that you're waiting for clarity on. Okay. Or you could be waiting for some type of document or you're waiting for some type of paperwork or something. Ten of Cups. Wow. Yeah, you're destined for some greatness here. You can have everything that you desire and more. I think things are, are like have the potential to look way better than you can even, than you're even like telling yourself they can get. Like there's some major potential in the future of this situation. You just need to like accept that and believe that. And don't let doubts get to you. Um, there's something with the ego that's being healed in the process of this, too. Um, something about doubts. Feeling inadequates. Potential for major happiness, though. Um, keeping your vibration high and keeping your expectations high as well. Okay, thank you so much, Cancer. I wish you the best of luck as you go through the situation. Um... Lots and lots of love to you, as always. If you'd like a personal reading from me, you can do so by uh, checking out the links in the description. I have a few different ways you can get a personal reading from me, depending on what you're looking for. Um, but yeah, thank you again so much, and lots and lots and lots of love to you, as always. Bye!